Hi, I'm Catherine Lecourt, and I am a Senior Partner Development Manager at Intuit. Today, I will share a few tips and tricks on managing limits in QuickBooks. So let's go into a QuickBooks account. So in your QuickBooks account, there is a place where you can see a summary of all limits and if you exceed any. So all you need to do is go to the gear icon and under account and settings, you're gonna notice a new tab that's called usage. On this tab, you will be able to see all of your limits and which ones you're exceeding or how many you have right now. Please note that each QuickBooks versions will contain a different, uh, different limit. The next question you may have is what counts towards the limits? So let's start with the user limit. So again, under the gear icon and under manage users, at the top, you're gonna see a box that actually tells you how many billable users you're allowed and how many you're currently using. So your next question here might be, what is a billable user? So to see who, which user is a billable user and which one is not, click on the add user button. You're gonna see two sections, one that counts towards your limits and two roles here that don't count towards your limit. So only standard users and com company admins are gonna count towards your user limits, but anybody that has access to reports only or time tracking only, so employees submitting timesheets, these types of users do not count towards your limits. Similarly, the chart of account also has a few things that don't count towards the limits. So let's go to the counting tab and chart of accounts. You're gonna see that same box that we saw with the users. So here we're saying that it can create 250 and you're using 67. So which ones do count towards the limits and which ones don't? So anything that's generated automatically by QuickBooks when you open an account usually does not count towards the limit. So an example of that is usually, you know, undeposited funds, uncategorized expenses, assets, uh, GST payable in suspense. Those kinds of accounts do not count towards your limit. Even better, we've added a section. So on this box here, you can actually see all your chart of accounts and the ones that count towards your limits. So when you're really looking at maybe cleaning up your chart of account, I would strongly recommend to select this option here. This will only list the accounts that count towards the limits. Last little tip that I'll show you on the chart of accounts is under this gear icon here, you can actually increase the number of accounts you can see. You can go up to all the way up to 300. So where this is advantageous is at least you can see all of your accounts on one page versus having to toggle from one page to the next if you were only showing 50 accounts. And finally, for classes and location, these ones are very different than the users and the chart of accounts as their everything counts towards the limits. There's not a particular class or location that does not count. So under your gear box or your gear icon and you go to all lists, and you click on your classes for your classes or, or locations for your locations. When you click on classes, you're gonna see that same box. So I hope that this video helped you understand the different limits, which ones count, which ones don't, and how to see which ones you are exceeding. Now, if you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. We're happy to help.